Genshin Impact, a game so famous, it has made over $3 billion since its release back in 2020. Oh, and that article is from May of last year, by the way. That's around $160 million a month. But how? Isn't it a free-to-play game? Good question. Now, get the back to work before I beat the sh out of you. Genshin Impact implements a mechanic called the gotcha mechanic. What is that? Just imagine, you're hungry, and you want some McDonald's. Now, there's two options. You could either go to McDonald's yourself and get it, or you can pay someone else to go get it for you. But there's a slight chance that they're not going to go to McDonald's at all. They're going to go to a freaking Burger King or something. That option two of paying someone else to do it for you, while there being a chance that they don't even get the right thing, that's gotcha. Now, is that analogy absolute dog shit? Yes. Are you still confused? Probably. But keep watching, you'll get it. This gotcha mechanic is how Genshin makes money. Around 66 million people play this game per month. So $180 million, 66 million people, that would mean each person is spending $3 a month on this game. But the thing is, most people don't actually spend money on this game. So why are the others willing to spend so much? What does Genshin Impact have to offer that people would be willing to spend way too much money on it? Extremely immersive gameplay? Great character design? Nice. Dreamy? Idle, heartthrob men? What the fuck? Yes, a new character in Genshin was released a couple days ago. His name is Ferminent, right? No, sorry, Fremenet. Now, I could spend real money to get some primal gems in the game and then buy Intertwined Fate and then have a chance at getting that character, or I can grind, then get primal gems from that grind and then buy Intertwined Fate from that and then again have a chance of getting the character. Now, thankfully, I already have some primal gems saved. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make a poll to see what we get real quick. Let's see what I get. Come on, baby. Show me something good. Show me something good. Okay, it's a four star. Purple means four star. Let's see, let's see. Come on, come on. You gotta. Is this what I wanted? No. But I got it anyways. All right. I, I, get off my screen. Please. Please. It's just one or the other. One or the other. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me something good. Okay, four star. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. please. Does that look like what I wanted? No. I'll tell you, no, it, it, it doesn't. I have 135 primal gems. So I I can't even buy one one fate yet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get all those wishes and I'm gonna use them right now. Let's see what we get. All right, basic stuff. Don't care. Basic. Next one, come on. We got four left. I really, okay, okay, four star, come on, come on, please, please. Let's go! Let's go! Turn up, bro, turn up! You know how worried I was that I was gonna have to like stay at this screen and just grind for like two, three hours? I'm so glad that I got it. Great, now I have the character, so that's it, right? No. Does this look like a parody? Now it's time to level up your character. Which doesn't really take any prime gems, so it's not really that bad. But what if I want my character to have a really strong weapon? Well, get some primal gems and start pulling. Oh, you want the character to be really strong? Well, unlock the constellations for it then. Okay, how? By getting more primal gems so you can pull again and then get a duplicate so you can get the stellar fortune of her the character and then unlock the constellation and then unlock the character's perks. So can I just grind for the primal gems without paying for them? Yeah. So there are daily commissions that you can do each day, which give you in total 60 primal gems. So that means after 27 days, you will have enough for one pull, which guarantees a four star or higher character. After a month, you have finally gained the chance to get what you want. Just a chance though. Now, events happen all the time in Genshin, which give you extra primal gems, but man, a month for just a chance 
to get what you want. At this point, it really feels like the only way to progress in Genshin is by presenting your wallet to the Genshin gods. In October of 2021, there was a father, a Singaporean dad, who reported $20,000 worth of transactions, fraud transactions from his card. And the bank was like, no, these are real. Turns out his 18 year old daughter spent $20,000 on which game? Genshin Impact. Bro, $20,000. Now, obviously this is just one case. I'm not gonna blame the game for this, all right? This is not the game's fault. This is 100% on the f dad and on the daughter. The daughter for being a dumbass and the dad for raising a dumbass. I don't wanna hear none of the, oh, she's 18 years old, she can make her own decision. Yeah, she can make her own decisions if her dad taught him some common sense. So honestly, this is the dad's fault. <laughs> but we're not here to discuss parenting techniques, we're here to talk about Genshin. So why are people still playing and paying for this game? Well, it's fun, that's why. The open world, different side quests, immersive music, it really feels like the money this game is making is going somewhere. And the story. Above par. <laughs> it's not exactly a revolutionary tale, but it's enough to keep you playing for countless hours, which honestly is all that it really needs. What really sucks is that as a free to play player, you're going to end up spending way more time just trying to progress compared to a person who just pays for all of it. Hey, but the gotcha system has gotten a lot of shit past and still does 100%, which is fair, but I just can't help playing Genshin because it's such a fun game and at least it's not gambling, right? 